Puny mortals. Your judgment is at hand! I see you have returned, dear Saiyans. Thanks to you, my power will only grow to greater heights. the Supreme Kai. But of course, as you know, only the Supreme Kai can wield the power of the time rings. To bring about the justice I desire, I needed the perfect sympathizer as my ally. A fighter I could trust, who agonized as I did over the folly of mortal Kai. Someone I knew for certain longed for the same grand utopia in their heart. In other words, he needed me. In this reality, you see, in an alternate future, I was floundering in despair. I lacked the will to act. I knew from the box of rings this parallel future existed, so I came to forge my alliance. Bow your head! Could be worse. Your retribution. You've got to find imbecile. Turn anger into power. Huh? The gods sing me. Thank you, Goku. Your anger feels simply incredible. Here I come! What? Turn anger into power. Huh. The gods sing me! My limitless wrath makes me the strongest being in the universe. To the wind! For retribution! You must pay for your sins against time! Now die! Maybe I am a sinner, but I don't care! I'll do whatever it takes to save this planet! Insufficient! How is it? I didn't think you were capable of reaching this level of power. But it does make for the perfect dessert. Crap! Magnificent. The body of a Saiyan is the ultimate in divine blessings. That feet! I'll hold them off and give them everything I've got. But in case I fail, you need to find a way to defeat them.
Goku and the others are back, as expected. So, the curtain rises, and our Act 3 begins. Our Master Goesu and the other Kais were foolish enough to believe mortals could be entrusted with intellect. As a result... You, malefactors, have developed time travel. A privilege only meant for the Kais. This machine is the quintessential reason why your kind must be eliminated. Well, it appears they're not listening to you. No matter. I'm so intoxicated by myself, I don't care if I have an audience. One of the many benefits of being a god. Fine. What's done is done. I'd rather win with our fist than some magic trick anyway. <laughs> I was just thinking the same thing. These bodies are a gift from the gods. This is their energy. But you arrogant Saiyans act as if you created this strength all on your own. for the runaway growth in your power level compared to my own. It's anger, isn't it? Watching us hurt your son made you angry, which made you strong. So that's how Saiyan strength works. How primal. Turning your raw emotions into power. Only a pathetic mortal like yourself could thrive on a tactic that unrefined. Which explains why it took me so long to realize it. And I, too, shall be my anger. Anger toward the mortals who defile the universe. Anger toward the other gods who have tolerated such behavior. And most important, the white, hot rage I now feel toward myself for letting you get the upper hand on me in our battle. Insufficient. <laughs> My counterpart's energy just vanished, and then just as suddenly it reappeared. But now it feels much weaker for some reason, like he's barely present. He must have run into some trouble completing his part of our gambit. Disgrace yourself against those mortals. We were barely separated. What went wrong? It seems many of our assumptions about mortals were badly mistaken. They are much more than just insignificant worlds. If we're not careful, our dream of utopia is going to be ruined before it's even begun. Very well. No more games or half measures. Because these insolent mortals continue to defy and profane us! 
we will reveal to them the ultimate power of the gods. It's time to show them divine perfection made whole. You pathetic, lowly mortals. Kneel before our radiance! This is your move! Show your reverence and bow down before our splendor! Work, I can feel it. Two glorious and unparalleled powers dissolving into one within me. So he's even stronger now! That's just what we need! Power coursing through me is exceptional, glorious, absolute, stare in awe. I am justice incarnate. Trump, keep Bulma safe. You insolent, minuscule saint. Bear witness as I show you the power of my divine light. Hearken unto me. I am the brightly glowing sun in the sky which illuminates this world. And all shall know that my brilliance is justice. I, the god Zamasu, am the universal wisdom, the universal law, and yes, the universal power. And all those who my light shines on shall be obliterated. At long last, on this glorious day, Project Zero Mortals will culminate with the eradication of all life on this planet. Then, Tobia will rise from the ashes. What the hell is he talking about? Don't get ahead of yourself, Zamas. First, you have to beat me! Hello. Still denying the inevitable. Perhaps a further demonstration of my power will help you face the truth. You cannot keep up with me! A natural outcome. Now, to rend the land, cleanse it of all that is in the So begins the Jubilee, heralding the arrival of a divine new world! This is the definition of justice. Power, wisdom, flame, light, return with vengeance to consecrate anew this divine Now the unclean world steps. Go kill! Samasu! Get ready, because I'm knocking your lights out for good! You simple-minded barbarian! It's the light of the mortals that will soon be extinguished. <laughs> it's a great honor to fall at the hands of a god, is it not? Continue to defy a god! Nice. 
light of divine justice strike at me now! A cowering god who appeases evil can never prevail! Who are you? Fighter, the combination of Vegeta and Kakarot. Vegito! And here's something new. Vegito Blue! Yeah! You may be more powerful, but you're still not a god! You pathetic mortals always try to end. Divine. Now why is that? Is it because we gods are so wondrous? Are you coveting our undeniable beauty? It's so tragic. You're doomed to fail. Active gods are beautiful because we are inherently pure, while mortal endeavors will inevitably become wicked. Corrupted and marred by sin. Sorry, but if you want me bowed at your feet, you'll have to do it by force. I don't need your prostrations, mortal. I just need you dead. Tears shall sanctify this blighted world. You cannot keep up with me, mortal. You must be expunged. A pure and perfect multiverse made clean by Zabasu's hand. Now, shall we bring this to a close? Try their future! How 
How will you compensate for your weakness now? Compared to gods, of course we're weak. But you can never make me ashamed of that. Because when mortals do join forces, that's when we can do anything. Because believing in our fellow man and helping each other to survive, that's what redeems us. That's what makes us who we are. Makes us worthy. That's what gives us our real power! Oh, yeah! Human power has failed before, as it will again! <laughs> oh, damn you! Human power has failed me! That's so weird. World defining scum! Existence, go away. Thanks for joining me on this epic gaming journey. Remember to smash that like button, subscribe for more awesome content, and I'll catch you all in the next adventure.